and we're back segment number three we're just gonna turn this table around a little bit still talking real estate still talking central florida just want to educate you guys on my guest and what he does i'm sitting here today with ceo vishal gupta from park square homes guys they have a number of communities throughout central florida all the way going down to uh south tampa as well too and you know we're talking about residential but we're just going to change gears a little bit because as i keep telling you guys knowledge is power and there's a lot of people that may be listening in to the show from different parts of um central florida and we're also recording this um live on instagram and we're doing a video bit so there's lots of you that are going to be seeing this after the fact and there's a lot of people that have been considering vacation homes or resort style homes as a second home now because of the pandemic. I mean, who would have ever thought the vacation sector here in Orlando, Florida, when we had nobody coming, when all the parks were closed, we'd actually get tons of sales and people wanting to relocate to live in what was once considered a vacation home, an Airbnb style, a VRBO has now been considered a second home, actually a luxury second home, because Vishal's right here. He's going to break it down for you. They are possibly the godfathers before this Airbnb model was even created, before there was a thing called resort-style vacation properties. These guys at Park Square Homes essentially built and created this model here in Central Florida. Vishal, please tell us what I'm rambling about. Absolutely, uh, David. And I, w- I want to mention one thing uh, before I get into the vacation home uh, that you were talking about earlier. You know, Orlando was a sleepy town, right? Nobody knew Orlando as a real estate market. But uh, a report came out last week, uh, of, and they did a study from the time that uh, the pandemic hit in March of 2020 to the end of 2020, to December. They analyzed where the migration was happening. Where were people moving to? Correct. And Orlando was number three in the country for in-migration of the largest metro areas in the country. So number one was Phoenix, right? We talked about Dallas, uh, uh, California people moving. Uh, number two was Dallas, and number three was Orlando. Number four was Tampa. So Orlando and Tampa, Orlando being number three, uh, is just an incredible statistic. We are on the map, um, and, and largely because of COVID, where people people want to move to. So that said, um, vacation homes have has been a thing here in Orlando for the last 15 years plus. Uh, Park Square started our first vacation home community in the late 80s. Who were you selling to? Hold on, hold on. Yeah, you know, it's funny. Who was coming? It, it, it was, at that time, it was a lot of British. The Brits course, were coming. Yeah. And they uh, love fact, holiday homes. Absolutely. In yeah. fact, uh, my family, I was born in London myself. Course, my yeah. family's from London. And uh, we were building homes on the Highway 27 corridor in Davenport. Correct. And um, it happened, we were building homes and we saw uh, a lot of Brits in the community pool. And they were like, oh yeah, we're here for, from the Britain and we love you know the single family homes to stay in. And we started saying, well, what if we build homes with pools in it for vacation purposes? And it was born out of nowhere. The middle of Orange Groves, you know, back in, in the late 80s, early 90s, who would have thought people wanted to go to Davenport? That seemed like a very far Absolutely, away. Absolutely, right? And, um, and the British were the first to come. Uh, and throughout the 90s and early 2000s, the British were coming in droves. And then following the British, the Brazilians and South yes. Americans and the Canadians come. and Canadians. You gotta Canadians, support my people. Canadians have been coming for eons. I mean, they love Florida yeah. just because of the weather and the beaches. Um, and so we we have been building vacation homes, and now the pandemic. Um, has increased the demand for vacation homes Correct. because um, where do people want to stay now? They don't want to stay in a hotel room Correct. where you have 200 rooms or 300 rooms or or, or even in Disney where they have 1,000 rooms. Um, we've noticed that um, new ho- vacation homes that are being rented out are much more popular than hotel rooms these Correct. days. So you can rent uh, a home at a very nominal rate. So it's funny you say that because I was actually reading this article and the CDC actually says that vacation rentals are actually safer than hotels to stay at if you're coming on vacation. And, you know, as I mentioned before, you're finding a lot of relocations happening from all over the place. So let's just backtrack. So just before the market crashed in 2008, just like you you nailed it, people from the northeast and the eastern part of Canada would travel directly south to come to Florida. Why? We have the greatest beach mileage than any other state. Um, A lot of the people that were moving from the Northeast were relocating because, of course, no state income tax, like we all know, very affordable. And like you touched on, 
I think in before 77, there was about 70,000 people in the Orlando market. Today, we have about 2.2 million people. And I was reading this article that by 2030, guys, listen up, 2030, if you guys think I4 is jammed up right now, they're expecting 5.3 million people to move to the Central Florida area. So I'm hoping by then I'm going to have a helicopter or jetpack <laughs> or something to get me to the radio show because I can't be late to be here. But we did a lot of sales together for a lot of vacation uh, rentals, especially from people coming from Brazil, people coming from Canada. And the major reason for that was, in many cases, the uh, Florida properties were a lot cheaper. People were astonished that they could get a five, six, even up to a 14-bedroom house for, I think at the time, like three, four, five hundred thousand dollars $500,000, which is unheard of. I mean, in New York or Toronto, you couldn't even get a studio apartment in downtown for 500000 bucks. I mean, they were blown away. They, they thought it was a joke, actually, until they came here and they saw it and we toured them. And we ended up doing a lot of work and a lot of the, the subdivisions that you had together. So thank you for being able to contribute to that. But, you know, one of the questions that I, I want to ask you is, you know, we've talked about the shift. We've realized that vacation markets have actually allowed a lot of second home buyers to use these vacation properties, mostly because of the amenities that are available. I mean, guys, even on the residential side, if you go to a Park Square Home community, I mean, just go on their website, parksquarehomes.com. Go take a look at what these clubhouses look like. I mean, they're better than some of the amenities that you can get at some of these hotels. I mean, I've been to some and they've ha they have Lazy Boy river pool things they have slides coming in and out and i mean it's a great place to go and hang out and have your family go and hang out there without having to spend the thousands of dollars it costs to go to a park and admission fees and 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 what are what are the advantages of having a vacation home and why do you guys spend all of this money building these incredibly expensive clubhouses as well too you know i think the advantage is that uh when you travel people like to travel in groups typically you have one family or multiple right. families or different generations right mm -hmm. so we're noticing a trend in the united states where people like to travel in large groups and so you can get like you said you can get a small townhome with a little at four bedrooms, which is still a lot of bedrooms considering uh, you, you would go to a hotel room Correct. and get a four bedroom. Or like you said, we offer our, and our best selling home today is a 15 bedroom, what? 15 bathroom home. 15? 15 bedrooms. It's like a little mini motel. You're going to be get lost in all of the rooms <laughs> of here. It's like, it where's is. little Johnny? I tell you, you do get lost. Uh, we have to name the, we have to number the bedroom so we know where to go and we have to give maps. But, um, but you know, the advantages of a home is that you have a full kitchen uh -huh. and in, in fact, in our larger homes, we include two refrigerators and two dishwashers and extra amenities like that because we're having so many people and they're loading it up with food. But you have a kitchen, you have two bonus rooms, you have your own private pool. And so, and when you have family gatherings, you can order uh, Uber Eats, for example, Correct. or you can cook in the in the you home. You can even get your chef to come to the house. You if can you have want. a chef can yeah. come to the house. You can load the the kitchen up with groceries, and it just it's a better lifestyle. It's actually less expensive overall. It is, um, and it's just a communal feel where children can run around. Because in a hotel room, you can't do that. You have to do that Correct. in the lobby, or you have to get a suite. And even in the suites, the maximum they offer is two bedrooms. Listen, or three it bedrooms. doesn't make sense. I mean, if you're going to go stay at a half decent hotel, you're going to be spending anywhere between I don't know 150 to 200 plus dollars a night yeah and in many cases you can rent a vacation home anywhere between 200 to four five hundred dollars a night and you could probably fit 15 16 people in there I mean like you said the average person's family size is about five six people anyways yeah plus you bring your mom the dog yeah. the brother family best friend whatever it is so all of a sudden you're at like 10 12 people Absolutely. And, and the CDC recommends vacation homes because you're not mixing with other people in the hallways or in the lobby because it's your own private home. You can go in and out and there's outdoor space. And so it really is a no brainer to uh, vacation now. And with as the as the vaccine rollout is coming, I predict mm -hmm. that the vacation home market is going to blow up in 2021 and, and, and onwards uh, because I think that's going to be the better way to go to vacation. I agree. And people you. are going to vacation uh, more often 
and domestically now because the risk of traveling abroad is a little higher. And um, the secondly, you know, most people don't realize in 2019, prior to the pandemic, 77 million people came to Orlando, number one tourist destination in the country. Absolutely. And what but what people don't understand is that out of the 77 million people, most people drove to Orlando. Absolutely. And so when they drive, they drive in their minivans and their mini buses. And so they're coming in droves and they're going to continue to do that because it's obviously safer during the pandemic to drive than to fly. Listen, I wish I could have you here for another two hours because <laughs> I've known you for, I don't know, 15 years or so. And I've always enjoyed conversing with you. You're a wealth of information for all the people out there. Guys, if you're looking to buy a new home, whether it's your first home, an upgrade, you want to buy a vacation property, please go visit Park Square Homes. If you have any questions, you can always reach me. If you're looking to buy a vacation home, I'll be more than happy to assist you in every way possible. You can always reach me at realsensenow.com. You can always ask me a question on one of my social media platforms. That's Dawood Bedrosian on um, Instagram, Facebook, and LinkedIn. And of course, call in the show or text. I'll always get the messages after the fact. 321-339-1055. Vishal, I can't believe time has flown so fast in this past hour. It's really a pleasure to have you on the show. I really look forward to having you back again. David, it's awesome to be here. I, I'm happy to share all my thoughts. And you know, you're, you've been a great partner with us in, in the real estate. And uh, any buyer would be lucky to have you as their Thank realtor. You. So Thank I encourage you. them to call you Thank and you. Uh, for them to bring you in uh, I really as their realtor. Yeah. Thank you for your kind words. Guys, tune in next week where we're going to be talking all things real estate right here on Real Sense. Now. And a quick shout out to my Barcelona crew over there. There it is. Barcelona. <laughs>